Hi, Peppy. How Hi, Dr. K. I'm good. Good, okay. So you're here for an annual physical exam, is that correct? Yes. All right, and the last time you were here, I see that you had some head pain. Is that still persistent? Yeah. Okay. Could you go ahead and describe that for me? Um, it's only on one side. Okay. So it comes and goes. Your right side. And I've been having it for the last three years. Okay. So, um, you say it comes and goes. So how frequently would you say, how many headaches would you get per week? About uh, three to four. Three to four. Any specific time of day that this happens? In the afternoon. Okay. And do you drink coffee at all? Or caffeine? Okay. And how many cups would you say? Two to three. Okay, and would this all be in the morning? Um, until 3 p.m. Okay, yes. all right. right. Definitely something to look into. Um, and on a scale of 1 to 10, what would it be at its worst and, and what is it usually? It's about 3 to 4. Okay. Okay, great. Any insomnia with that? Mm, no. Okay. All right, great. Could you verify your date of birth for me? June 2nd, 99. Okay, and any new allergies that I should be aware of? No. All right. Are you taking any medications on a daily basis? No. Okay. Do you follow any certain diet that's new? No. Okay, great. What about any family medical history, any hypertension? Mm, hypertension. Okay. My maternal grandparents, okay. yeah. Great. Any problems with your vision or heart? Mm, I do have a little bit of blurry vision. Okay. Um, when did this start? Maybe a few months ago. Okay. Would you say that it aligns with your headaches? So when you're having headaches, do you have more blurry vision? Mm, not sure. Okay. Do you wear contacts or glasses? No. No. Okay. And does this affect you while driving? No. Okay. Any back problems or joint aches? Mm, I do have back pain. Okay. And it radiates on the right side of my right shoulder. Side. Okay. So that would be the same side that you're having the head pain. Yeah. Okay. So that's very notable. Um, and any injuries then in the last year? No. Okay. Skin disorders? Any mm. redness or dryness? No. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put on some gloves and we'll start with your vitals, okay? Okay. Great. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, what is your level of pain right now? A 2. A 2, okay. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and take a listen to your heart and lungs, okay? So you can just breathe normally for me. on the bell side now. Okay. No murmurs or extraneous sounds, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and listen to your lungs. Okay. So if you could take a deep breath for me. And out. Two, three. Do you smoke at all? Okay, in and out. Two, three. Excellent. Just gonna listen on the other side. In, two, three. And out. Two, three. Alright, again. In, two, three. And out. Two, three. Great. Okay, that sounds normal. 
I'm going to um, take your blood pressure. So do you have an arm preference? Mm, no, not really. Okay. Make sure your legs are uncrossed. Thank you. That's 110 over 79 with a normal range. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna slide this off. I'm gonna be taking your oxygenation now, so can I have your index finger? Thank you. Alright, as well as your temperature. Okay, that is. 98.1, okay. All right. And you are 95 percentile at room air with a heart rate of 78, okay. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and put on this gown so I can give a more thorough head-to-toe exam and have you lay down on the bed. We'll start with your lymph nodes and your head and scalp, okay? Okay, great. Okay, Matt P, I'm gonna start by feeling your lymph nodes, okay? Feels very healthy. I'll just be going along the rest of the face and underneath the eyes just to feel for any signs of swelling. right here on the bridge of your nose. Try to turn your head to your right. Okay, back to center. On the count of three. One, two, three. Good. Good resistance. And three, two, one. Other side. Very good. Okay. All right, could you raise your eyebrows for me? Is that as high as you can? Okay, good. All right, raise them again. Try to lower them. Look at the hairline, the skin. seeing any signs of dryness. Slightly oily hair, but it looks very healthy. How often do you shampoo? Mm, every other day. That's perfect. Okay. Do 
like see a red dot here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a measurement. It is symmetric, which is good. It's probably just a cherry mole. Turn your head the other way. Perfect. Symmetric, but I'm going to check. Okay. Okay. So it does appear to be symmetric. It just was the angle I first viewed it at. Wasn't correct, so this is good. Just as a precaution, I'm going to take a sample. Okay. pain there? No. Okay, good. some natural skin indentations here, but I'm going to be scraping along the exterior just to make sure that the bumps are flush with the skin.
chin your head just straight up to center. Thank you so much. Getting a normal reaction, so that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and test the sensations on your face. All right, so do you feel this? What side of your face do you feel it on? Right, right. Okay, so that's gonna be a soft sensation. All right, do you feel this? That's gonna be a sharp sensation. What side of your face did you feel it on? Right, right. And what side is this? Alright, that's going to be a dull sensation. So you have three options. Soft, sharp, or dull. Let me know which one you feel, okay? Just continuing along the hairline. Let me know if you feel sharp, soft, or dull. The soft sensation might be difficult to feel on your scalp. That's completely normal. But I'm going to be giving you a few of those anyway. Okay. Sharp. of sensitivity on that right side, which is where you're having your headaches. Soft. I'm just going to be palpating the neck and just feeling along the trachea to make sure that it's symmetric and that there are no issues, okay? Okay. Good, no signs of tracheal collapse. Seems to be very sturdy. Great. Now, I'm just going to be touching your ears. If you could open and close your mouth, I'm feeling for signs of clicking, popping, any signs of TMJ. Okay, very good. Again. Alright. Now I'm just 
feeling the jaw area, if you could do the same thing. Any problems with chewing or swallowing? No. Alright, that's great. So, we're finished with our inspection um, of the head. I'm going to go ahead and inspect your abdomen next, okay? Great. So I'm going to go ahead and lift your gown, okay, just to expose the abdomen. See that you have some very cute high-waisted pants. I'm going to go ahead and lower them with your permission, just so I can have access to um, the lower area to check your lymphatic system. So I'm just going to be pulling this down just a bit. Okay. All right, perfect. So I'm just going to listen first. Any digestive issues that you've noticed? No. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do some palpations, okay? So I'm going to start with some light palpations and I'll go a little deeper, okay? And let me know if you feel any pain. is normal sized. So is your liver. I'm not feeling anything enlarged. So that's good. Any pain there? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just feel along the lymph nodes here. Okay. Everything feels healthy so far. I'm just going to do some precautions.
just I'm going to measure just looking for signs of edema okay Within normal range. Okay, I'm going to do a sharp, soft, or cold. So if this is going to feel cold, this is soft, this is sharp. Do you feel all three? Mm -hmm. Do you feel the difference? Yeah. Okay, good. So just let me know how you feel. Soft. Good. Sharp. Cold. Just before we move on to the back, I'm going to do a skin inspection. Okay. okay. You do have some moles here, but they look symmetric. Not a regular shape. And they're not raised. So that's good. Okay. Just going up here. You flip over on your back, okay? So I can inspect your spine. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to spread this apart, okay? And first I'll be listening to your back and lungs, so you're gonna feel a cool sensation. Apologies for that. All right, just gonna make some deep breaths if you could. spine for any signs of scoliosis, curvatures,
spinal columns seem to be very intact and healthy. I'm just going to be giving you a slight pinch to measure for normal refill. circulation seems to be very appropriate. Okay. I'll do some scraping along the skin just to make sure that the bumps Slight lesions that I see are blush. Okay. I'm going to be making a vibration sound on your spine. Let me know when you stop feeling the vibration, okay? I don't see any spine abnormalities that would be contributing to your headaches, so it's good to rule that out. Just going to do a quick sensations test. This will feel dull, this will feel sharp, okay? your feet right now. You can remain in this position. That's perfect. And I'll just be moving down to the bottom area. Okay. All right. Okay. Just doing an initial examination of the skin. All right. 
don't see any blisters and uh, dry cracked feet are very common but yours look to be very healthy so you must lotion down here or have very good genes Symmetric and within normal range, a fourth of a millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and put them in my notes um, to keep track so we can measure it again next year. But nothing to be alarmed of here. Go ahead and spread your toes for me. response. Good. Okay. Alright. Going to feel your pedal pulses. plus and normal. Okay, good. Alright. I'm going to do another vibrations test. Let me know when you stop hearing the sound or feeling the sound. for symmetry to make sure you have no swelling of the feet. That's 14 on this side. 14 and a half is with a normal range. All right, just testing the strength of your feet. I want you to go ahead and try to bring your feet towards you. In three, two, one. Good. All right. Now try to bring your feet down. I'm not going to let you do that. Three, two, one. Very good. Okay. And I'm going to do a sharp and soft test. Let me know if you feel sharp or soft. 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 Okay. Sharp. causes for your headaches. Everything seemed normal. Um, your cranial nerves, your spine, so that was a good thing. 
all your vitals came back very healthy, just like last year. I'm going to go ahead and start you on a low dosage of ibuprofen to take as needed, so 200 milligrams. I'll write you a prescription um, and take it when you start to feel the headache coming on or in the afternoon when you anticipate it. Um, I also want to ask you to reduce your caffeine intake to one cup in the morning. See what that does for you. And we'll have a follow-up appointment in three months, okay? But if you feel that the headaches are getting out of control or too much to bear, go ahead and call me and we'll have you come in again and uh, maybe do a scan or refer you to a specialist, okay? Thank you. Do you have any other questions? No. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you as well.